on a hot enough day today to fuel the threat of more storms, huh? Yeah, it was a muggy one today. Not as bad as it was on Monday, but it was warm and humid. The good news is things are going to get way better as we head into the upcoming weekend. And actually, at this point, the severe threat is mostly over and done with. A couple of storms could get strong, especially along the leading edge of this line near Rochester, down through Albert Lee, and then down into northern Iowa. A couple of stronger storms possible for the rest of us. Mostly just rain. We still have a few showers that continue to move through the Mankato area of Fairmont. Back toward Wyndham and Worthington, some rain continues to move through those areas as well. We have one tornado warning north of Red Wing into western Wisconsin, and that's about the only severe weather that we have on the map at this point, but definitely some heavy rain. Dodge Center toward Rochester. This is moving east. Austin, Albert Lee area getting some rain here in Mankato, just some showers that continue. We do have this line here too near Algona and pushing east toward Forest City, eventually going to end up toward I-35, uh, that uh, could spark a few isolated strong to severe storms yet at this point. The biggest threat, damaging wind and large hail. Severe thunderstorm watch still in effect. Blue Earth, Albert Lee, Wasika, but that will likely be allowed to expire or probably canceled here within the next hour or two as that line of thunderstorms continues to move off to the east. Some heavy rain with these. Spencer, Iowa, Wilmer, Algona, over an inch of rain. Glencoe, 94 hundredths. We had 77 hundredths both in Jackson and Worthington, Fairmont, 73 hundredths. St. James, 68 hundredths. Esterville, 64 hundredths here at the TV station in North Mankato. We had 46 hundredths of an inch of rain with that line of thunderstorms that blasted across the Mankato, North Mankato area. Here's the good news. Watch it go out and out through 9, 10 o'clock. We could see a couple of isolated little storms kind of pop up back behind this main line later this evening, but those I don't expect are going to be terribly strong. Nothing major there. And once we get these out of here, that is going to lead us into a really nice holiday weekend. We have this front that has been pushing through over the last uh, couple of hours. And behind that front is cool, comfortable air from Canada that's going to come in. And there's actually a secondary front way up there that's going to come through on Saturday night that's going to bring not much or anything really in the way of rain, but cooler temperatures for Sunday and Monday. We're talking low 70s for highs. We may even drop into the 40s for overnight lows Sunday into Labor Day morning. So some cooler, more comfortable weather definitely on the way. And you can see it here too with the dew point, of course, today. <sighs> It was up there, but as we go into Friday, Saturday, that dew point is going to drop. There's that secondary front that's going to come through right there. You can see how it does another little drop -o from uh, Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. And we're going to keep that trend of pleasant, comfortable weather rolling basically through most of next week. We have a nice dry stretch that's coming up here uh, after this uh, line of rain that moved through. Currently, cloudy, showery here in the Mankato, North Mankato area. 68 is the temperature. The dew point still at 67 with a South wind at 8 miles per hour. We did get to 85 earlier today, so it was a warm one, but uh, that's all history now. It's going to be much more comfortable, less humid as we head into tomorrow. Around the region, still uh, pretty warm to the east. Rochester still at 82. We're still ahead of that front. Same for Mason City at 86, but everywhere we've had rain in the 60s, that rain-cooled air definitely apparent here on the map. And then we're bouncing back a little bit behind that front with the temperatures in the 70s. Redwood Falls, Olivia at 73. Marshall currently at 76. Tonight, thunderstorms will end. We're going to clear out late tonight. 59, our low southwest wind at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, a beautiful day. Cooler, a lot less humid, mostly sunny. High of 78, and that trend will continue. A bit warmer, 81 sunny on Saturday. And then cooler sunshine, not at all humid. 72 on Sunday. We're going to get to... 73 on Labor Day, and that dry trend and pleasant trend will continue with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s, lows in the 50s through most of next week. Stacy and Deanne, we have a good one coming up. Get outside and enjoy this thing.